My name is Lloyd Fields, and I am a property owner along Fields Road in the city of Banning. I am one of several unfortunate neighbors of the Morongo Band of Mission Indians. My property has been in my family for over 50 years and is on a road named after my father. I am being denied normal due process to develop my property because the Morongos have declared in writing that they will not allow access to my property after it is developed. This assertion of tribal sovereignty beyond its legitimate scope significantly affects the financial security and quality of life of blockaded non-Indian property owners. The elected officials of both Riverside County and the city of Banning have transferred control of public roads built with tax dollars of non-tribal citizens in Riverside County to the control of the Morongo tribe. What justification is there to give away the only access to the private properties of non-tribal citizens? It is time to expose the land grab by the Morongo tribe and end this flagrant disregard by local officials that fail to give consideration to the legitimate concerns of non-Indian property owners. The impact is on some 1,200 people, 450 homes, people all well over senior average age or well over senior age. The threat is multiple without getting into all the details, hundreds of pages we developed. It boils down to significantly health, safety, and quality of life. The environmental issues alone in our documents cover hundreds of pages. We are here today to wake up the politicians to this Indian land grab that will result in us losing our homes to the Colorado River Indian tribes. Also, that the Indians can build themselves another casino. Most recently, Crick forced the Blythe Boat Club from their property, which the boat club purchased in 1947. What better way to promote economic opportunity than to confiscate property next to the reservation and claim that now, suddenly, this is Indian land. Just issue a proclamation that declares this land is now Indian land. And that is exactly what was done by the Secretary of the Interior. But the story is even juicier because the Secretary of the Interior just so happened to be the brother of the Congressman for the tribes. How convenient. Why are we so exercised over this? Well, as is with Mr. Fields and all of you, it's a significant impact on our lives. Today, um, we gather here on the steps of the courthouse because we seek justice, uh, justice to solutions uh, that citizens are just caught as victims in the middle of, that uh, there seems to be no public policies to address. So this is not a unique issue here in Riverside County. This is uh, uh, happening all over the state of California, and these are policy issues that we need solutions to. The doors of the courthouse may be locked to you, but you're not silenced. You have the ability to act, to come together, and make your voice heard.